Chief Executive Officer of the Central Housing and Planning Authority, Sherwin Graves, on Wednesday engaged prospective beneficiaries of the government's middle-income homes being constructed in Amelia's Ward, Linden, Region 10. The event provided guidance to potential homeowners on the process of home ownership, Graves explained. To date, 200 Lindeners have expressed interest in owning one of the units. However, 60 have been shortlisted thus far. Persons would have expressed an interest in our two-bedroom elevated house. We invited them here today to advise them on the process going forward because the houses have started to be built and it is our intention to have persons identify their house lots, identify their houses and start the process with the banks and other agencies to ensure they can acquire the houses as early as possible. Currently, 42 bedroom elevated homes are under construction in Amelia's Ward, with preparation underway for the construction of another 50 homes by the end of the year. These units are two bedroom elevated units that will cost a total of $7.2 million, inclusive of the cost of the land at $300,000. CEO Grieve said that the minister has had the commitment from three commercial banks to reduce the interest rates and waive certain fees and charges, making it easier for potential homeowners to access loans. Yes, they have to find a down payment, but then these additional fees and charges, they don't have to worry about. And as also, uh, Another factor that has been taken away to make it easier. Normally when you're building a house, you have to get a plan, you have to run and get that plan approved. They don't have to do any of that. All of that has already been taken care of. All they have to do is engage the banks and then follow and see the house being built. And the bank deals with the contractor. They too don't have that headache. The initiative targets mostly young professionals, including teachers, healthcare workers, law enforcement officers, and persons employed at the Regional Democratic Council and other agencies. The shortlisted applicants are happy with the process and are enthusiastic about owning their own home. I think it's a great initiative. Um, we were well informed about what is going on and very eager to get involved in this. It was very efficient. It, it, it didn't take a long time, which I was really surprised about that and I'm very excited, like I said. To be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised about um, with the time frame because it's, it was very fast. So yes, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, I'd like to um, thank the ministry for this initiative and I'd like, them to, uh, I'd like to have them to continue in the same, with the same efficiency and I think a lot of people will be encouraged and will be very happy. I think it's a good initiative by the government and um, I think especially for young people like myself, we can greatly benefit from it. To get called now in September, I think that it's very, very efficient and um, kudos to the government for working so fast in providing a good response. Following the event, the CEO visited Amelia's ward where the homes are being constructed and the area earmarked for the construction of additional homes. The construction of the homes are in keeping with the commitment made by His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali earlier in the year for the construction of 1,000 homes in Linden.